These once popular reality stars managed to ruin their fame by spreading vicious rumors, getting locked up, and threatening to harm their co-stars, among other offenses. Here's how your former favorite TV personalities ruined their careers. Hey, girlfriends! Why don't we all have some drinks and talk about how I think Portia has no class? You've heard me, Portia. Mike, the situation Sorrentino, made his ascent into B-list celebrity status after appearing on the MTV reality series Jersey Shore. His bizarrely charming personality and rock-hard abs proved to be bankable assets, so the cash started pouring in. As far as I know, everybody loves the situation. And if you don't love the situation, I want to make you love the situation." Apparently, neither Sorrentino's abs nor charm worked on the federal government. According to TMZ, the reality star's life did a 180 when he was nabbed by the IRS for failing to pay taxes on nearly $9 million in earnings. Forbes reported that Sorrentino entered a guilty plea on one count of tax evasion in January 2018, while his brother Mark pleaded guilty to one count of aiding in the preparation of a fraudulent tax return. The disgraced reality star began his eight-month prison sentence at Otisville Federal Correctional Institution in Otisville. Otisville, New York, in January 2018. But before he left, the situation had one final farewell shindig, his November 2018 wedding to longtime girlfriend Lauren Pesci, followed by a honeymoon in the Santa Catalina Mountains. It's bittersweet the newlyweds will spend their first few months as husband and wife away from each other. Luckily, once Sorrentino's sentence is over, he can reunite with her and his Jersey Shore family vacation castmates, since MTV gave the reality show reboot the green light for season three. Prison first, but GTL forever. In an iconic video clip from Teen Mom OG, executive producer Morgan J. Freeman tells Farrah Abraham that if she continues to work in the adult film industry, Teen Mom will not continue to have her on the show. Abraham, who's never been one to back down, immediately claps back. Who are you to tell someone to choose one thing? Shoot me for being who I am. Who is he? Well, he was your employer, Farah. Abraham refused to agree to the stipulations, and with MTV's cameras no longer documenting the mother of one, her life flipped upside down. According to TMZ, Abraham signed five-year leases in 2016 for two boutiques she operated at a mall in Lakeway, Texas. After shutting their doors, Abraham allegedly stopped paying rent on both storefronts and was sued for owing over $100,000 in past due rent. Radar Online stated Abraham was also sued by her lawyer in November 2018 for an outstanding bill, and an additional $12,000 lawsuit was filed by a promoter after she backed out of a boxing match. After being hit with multiple lawsuits, Abraham reportedly had to move in with her father and his fiancé. People magazine confirmed that Brandy Glanville had been given the axe after season 5 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills due to a series of tumultuous verbal altercations with her castmates. A source told People, Brandy got too big for her britches. She was a diva and it came around to bite her. By the end, she couldn't get along with anyone and no one wanted to shoot with her. Another source told Us Weekly that the show's executive producer Andy Cohen was also a bit peeved with her, stating, Andy thinks her actions aren't a good look for the show. Perhaps Glanville should have put in more effort to play nice because without the show, she suffered from some pretty intense hardships. While speaking to TMZ after her firing, Glanville revealed her financial situation had been strained since she left the program. Being sweet and cordial is probably a better move in terms of job security, but without Glanville, the show is definitely missing the dramatic, combative villainess. Teresa Giudice seemed to have it all when she made her debut on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. She had oodles of cash at her disposal and a mega mansion that she shared with her four daughters and her husband, Joe. Giudice was living quite a charmed life, up until the IRS caught wind of her and her husband's shady dealings, which included bankruptcy fraud, mail fraud, and conspiracy to commit wire fraud, to name a few. Giudice and her husband pleaded guilty to the charges, with Teresa looking at up to 27 months in prison. I got stuck with being involved. Her husband began serving a 41-month prison term in March 2016 and faced possible deportation back to his native Italy after he admitted to failing to pay nearly $1 million in taxes. The Real Housewife was ultimately sentenced to 15 months behind bars herself, beginning her prison stint on January 5, 2015. She was also ordered to pay $400,000 in restitution and $13 million for her bankruptcy. Her prison days may be behind her now, but Judice's dodgy financial mistakes could leave a stain on her reality TV. TV career forever. When you think of MTV's The Hills, you probably instantly think of Heidi Montag and her boyfriend-turned-husband Spencer Pratt, the couple better known to fans as Spidey. On the series, Spencer was the bad boy and Heidi was the one who so desperately wanted their relationship to work out. Despite her BFF Lauren Conrad calling Spencer a sucky person, Montag stood by his side, causing major discord in their friendship. Unlike a few of the other celebs on our list, Montag's descent from fame had to do with her own desire to be famous. Even the reality star's husband revealed, what we learned is you can be 
be too famous. According to the Daily Beast, the plastic surgery-obsessed Montag and Pratt blew through all their money after their MTV days were over and the paid nightclub appearances dried up. They even had to resort to shacking up in Pratt's parents' beach house. Her failing superstardom, which was once her bread and butter, left her broke, created rifts with her family members, and made other reality shows hesitant to book her for gigs. But you have to realize what I've been through, and you have to realize that I've been through so much pain. We're interested to see how things will fare for Montag on MTV's The Hills' New Beginnings. The drama here started on season 9 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta when cast member Portia Williams gossiped behind castmate Candy Burris' his back, insinuating that Burris was an undercover lesbian. Once news got back to Burris, she revealed that she and Williams had actually shared a kiss after a boozy night at an after-hours club, and also alleged that Williams had offered to perform a sex act on her that same night. <laughs> This caused Williams to go on the defensive and unleash a fury of accusations, including a rumor that Burris had a kinky sex dungeon in her home. She said I had a Why sex dungeon. You know, I if I had one, I would tell everybody about it because I don't care. During a cast trip to Hawaii, Williams said that she heard a rumor from an unnamed person that Burris and her husband, Todd Tucker, had plans to drug Williams and their mutual friend, Shamia Morton, in order to have sex with them. During the reunion episode, castmate Phaedra Parks confirmed she was the one who repeated the rumor after receiving the information from another unnamed source. Bravo TV executive producer Andy Cohen revealed to E! News that after the season wrapped, none of the cast Castmates agreed to film with Parks for season 10, putting an end to her time on the show. Derek Dillard, who starred alongside his wife Jill Duggar on TLC's Counting On, took to his Twitter to discuss Jazz Jennings, the transgender star of TLC's I Am Jazz, in an insensitive and hurtful tweet. Dillard's tweet read, What an oxymoron, a reality show which follows a non-reality. Transgender is a myth. Gender is not fluid, it's ordained by God. Jennings fans clapped back in her defense, which prompted Dillard to dig his hole a little bit deeper, tweeting, I want to be clear, I have nothing against him, I only have issue with the words and definitions being propagated here. Online users were disgusted that he purposely used the wrong pronoun to refer to Jennings, but before the verbal fisticuffs could escalate, TLC released a statement via Twitter in which they told viewers Dillard would no longer be featured in the series, writing, Derek's personal statements do not reflect the views of the network. Dillard seemed to take the firing in stride, but less than a month later he decided he needed to clear things up in a tweet that read, For the record, I was never fired. I just felt it best for my family to cut ties months ago, as we are heading in a different direction. Uh, whatever you say, dude. In 2000, Richard Hatch outsmarted his competition to become the first winner of the American version of Survivor, winning $1 million. Unfortunately, he neglected to pay taxes on his earnings, something which he admitted to Forbes. Hatch stated he asked for an extension to file the IRS paperwork through his accountant, and although he claimed to be in communication with the federal government, they slapped him with an indictment for willful evasion two years later. Instead of taking a plea deal like he was advised to do, Hatch decided to go to trial where he was eventually found guilty on all 10 criminal counts. The Survivor champion was looking at 47 years in prison, so we're sure he breathed a sigh of relief when he was sentenced to only three. Upon his 2009 release, he headed back to reality TV to appear in various shows, including Celebrity Apprentice. But Uncle Sam came knocking once again after Hatch failed to refile his 2000 and 2001 taxes and neglected to pay an outstanding tax bill of $2 million. He was sentenced to an additional nine-month jail term in March 2011 and was given 26 months of supervised release, which means he missed out on watching the finale of Celebrity Apprentice in the comforts of his own home. It's just life. Fans of Bravo's Southern Charm were floored when Thomas Ravenel's September 2018 arrest for second-degree assault and battery was reported by People magazine. The alleged victim, known as Nanny Don, had also been featured on the series. Police began investigating the charges in May 2018 after Don claimed Ravenel corralled her into his bedroom, dropped his pants, blocked the door, and allegedly ripped her clothes off. Following Ravenel's arrest, Bravo confirmed that he had been axed from the show. An insider added in a follow-up article by People that his Southern Charm co-stars were relieved not to have to deal with Thomas on the show anymore. A second woman claimed in a blog post that Ravenel also sexually assaulted her mother, Debbie Holloway Perkins, in 2015 after they matched on Tinder. The former reality star denied both allegations in a statement through his lawyer, though he allegedly paid Debbie a $200,000 settlement in June 2016, according to Us Weekly. Things only got worse from there. While entangled in a bitter custody battle with his ex-girlfriend and fellow Southern Charm cast member Catherine Dennis, The Blast reported that Ravenel sued Bravo and the show's producers in November 2018 to prevent them from airing unaired footage, leaving many fans to wonder what else the disgraced reality star was trying to hide. 
Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.